Hello, Leo. Rambling Mike here. Gonna play a little tarot with you today. Thanks for tuning in one more time. I appreciate your time, that I do. Thanks for all your likes. Thanks for all your subscribes. Thanks for the view. Thanks for reaching over and seeing. Hey, what's Mike have to say? Thank you. Definitely want to say thanks to all my mini Leo people that have blessed me with donations, many of you. So very kind of you, Leo. You're quite the givers. I appreciate them all, large or small. Leo, you blessed me with a donation. Thank you. Big shout out. Thank you to all my Rambling Nation members. Mwah, I love you guys. Thank you for your continued support month after month. Rambling, Rambling Nation is my membership channel. Every Wednesday night, I do live broadcasts uh, over there with an amazing group of people. Love in that house. It's like this little place where we can all go and just love on each other for a minute in the midst of this crazy world. Anyway, live broadcasts every Wednesday night. I give away tarot decks, t-shirts, read cards on Wednesdays. Uh, every Saturday night, I do a live broadcast with my members. I love them. I can't stay away from them. Teach on the tarot over there on Saturday nights, t-shirts, tarot decks, and every Sunday, it's Sunday fun day over there at Ramblin' Nation. Yeah, they do share two of the Sundays out of the month with the collective, but the other two or three Sundays are Ramblin' Nation events, and uh, last Sunday was pretty good. Anyway, if you've been thinking about becoming a member of Ramblin' Nation, we'd love to have you. That join button's right down below. And I'll see many of you Wednesdays, Saturdays, many, many Sundays. I also want to talk about uh, DivinelyLoveTarot.com, an amazing website that I have a team of people putting together. Uh, there are tarot readers over there. Uh, also, there's information about divine relationships over there. One of the uh, studies or uh, courses, that's a better word for it, that's been getting a lot of attention over there that I've noticed is Eight Steps to Soulmate Union. And uh, just fun over there. Go get your reading. Check out some of this uh, material, especially if you're in what you would consider a divine relationship at this particular point in time. Anyway, lots of cool stuff happening over there. Nothing but, but good reviews on this team that I have working on this. All original material. These people study. And then they channel. So this is all original material. It's very good, too. I read it all the time. It's made a huge impact on my life in a positive way. Anyway. Uh, Divinely Tarot. Now, I am wearing a shirt right here. I am wearing a shirt. I have an artist, uh, Carol Ann Henderson, that uh, working on an amazing tarot deck for me. Got a Kickstarter. Uh, there'll be a link in the comments pinned to the top that'll take you over to my Kickstarter page of the tarot deck that I'm working on. It's absolutely gorgeous. I have the star shirt done, and I have the fire pony or the knight of wands done. And the, uh, these are, you know, uh, Kickstarter gifts. There's also signed tarot decks and all that fun stuff. Carol Ann's put together a fun video for me. Thank you, Carol. Anyway, a lot of things going on. Check them out if you'd like. All right, let's do it. Leo, Leo, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Here we go. A little look-see at love. Now, before I get into that as well, uh, Mercury retrogrades here, peeps. It's already shadow period. The Mercury retrograde, <laughs> there's a fire pony. Anyway, let me put this up, Leo. You know, there's a retrograde going on right now. Uh, Mercury will be totally retrograde on the 29th. Um, it will come out of shadow July 7th. So if you're dealing with a fire pony, you know, that's somebody good looking. Oh, and there's a moon right there too. Hmm. Um, you know, that's good looking, charismatic, exciting, fun to be with, but you know, non-committal, right? So if you're dealing with somebody like that right now, um, you know, you're gonna have lots of opportunities for the fire pony to come galloping back in right now. I don't know, you know, um, if you play your cards right by July 7th. When, when Ramblin's been saying that love is in the air, summertime and living's easy. Anyway, you know, the devil's in the details right now. Intuition is huge right now. 
Anything that you sign, read it twice, three times, take a minute, underline something. I don't like that right there. We need to change that. Because by July 7th, you may find out that the decision that you made may not be the one that you want. Anyway, Mercury retrograde with two eclipses in it. That's why I'm talking about this right here, because we're going to get out wild cards. Because why are people looking at tarot? Because, well, they want to know if there's some doggone threes around here. And there have been threes poking up right now. And people coming saying, hey, I've changed, I've changed. Come on, come on. One step at a time right now. Let something unfold if it's unfolding for you. Now is not the time to push anything. All right, Leo. Let's do it. Let's take a little look-see. I love right here from my Leo's. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Thank you, love team. Cannot do this without you. Appreciate you, my guys. Let's take all these amazing pictures, put together a nice, clear, accurate story for Leo's highest good. Thank you so very much for that, love team. Cannot do this without you. Appreciate you, my guys. There we go, Leo, cutting the deck. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck right here. I'm going to throw out five cards from the Hush Tarot. The Hush Tarot right here. Uh, some cards off of the bottom of the deck. And then uh, clarification with the Terra Luminati, the love cards, Major Arcana, you know how we do it. Let's see what's on the bottom. Leo, here we go. Justice came out. It's Major Arcana. Libra. Interesting card right here. Justice. I can swing either way. But justice is here when there's been some injustice. We know that, huh? Why is justice your first card out in the love read? It's a major arcana. It's about the gods getting involved. Hmm. A lot of things going on. There's bees up there. There's ants down there. Like I said right now, in my opinion, it's not the time to push anything. There's definitely some justice that needs to unfold here. Leo! Let's go. Let's go. Interesting card. Libra. May mean something to you, may not. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I want five cards, love team. Five cards for Leo. Here we go. From the hush. Five cards. Here we go. What do we got? Oh, I got an ace of cups. A little birdie flying out of a skull. I don't know. Skulls are dead. You know, that's an Ace of Cups. It doesn't mean that that's happening. An Ace of Cups is an offer, either from Leo or to Leo. You know, it's got a crown right there, Leo. But not my favorite Ace of Cups. We'll see what's happening here. Some kind of offering, something that was dead. <clears throat> Coming back to life. Like I said, right now, it's the retrograde. That's just some kind of offer right there. Look at the teeth falling out of this uh, skull right there. It's such an interesting deck. Let's go. Ace of Cups. Leo. What have we got? Seven of Wands. There we go, right there. Fire energy. Fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. This is my hero's card. This is somebody that's decided to stand up and do what's best for them. They've decided to put themselves up in the front of the card of life. It's my new sheriff in town, so either... There's been a new love offer that either Leo, you know, justice is here, right? Justice. So sources involved in this. There's been a there's been an offer offered, and then I got the, the, the new sheriff in town right here. I don't know if that new love offer has been taken, especially with seven wands sitting right there. So it could be this is fire. So this could be a love offer that came in for Leo. Right? We'll go with that. Let's go with that right there. You know. A love offer. This is water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius right there. Seven of Wands. 
That's the new sheriff in town. And that's the energy that we should have right now. You know, if this is old love being offered from the past. We're all supposed to be going forward in a new direction. I would take a look at new love from an arm's length. And that's what that seven of wands is. Come on, Leo, what do we got right here? Leo, what do we got right here? Leo, what do we got? Judgment. A major arcana. Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, a judgment call. Judgment day. Judgment day is at hand. And this character here with the judgment is looking at seven of wands. Is looking at the new love offer. And making a judgment call. I don't know what the mice are about on the bottom, but maybe you do. Mice chew things up. They make a mess. Uh, it's a judgment call. It's 20. So maybe, Leo, you made a love offer to somebody. Maybe they walked away from it. Either way, it's vice versa. Everybody's looking at this love offer right here. It's got to be coming out of skull. That ain't new. That's old. What do we got? The emperor came out. Major Arcana yet again. Aries. Seated in his power. Wow. Um, it shows a... It shows a black bird right here. You know, that's Odin's crow to me. Just read a little bit. This is the emperor. It's a major arcana. I don't know. It looks to me like somebody wants to fly away from this. Somebody wants to fly away from it. Right there, they're kind of blocking it. Here, they're, you know, somebody wants some stability. There's stability needed here. There's no doubt. What do we got? Queen of Swords. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Give me something with this emperor right here. Let me put this together, source. Yeah, six. Six cups. Okay, if this is Leo, you know, um... Looking for stability, right? That could be the emperor, Leo. It looks like somebody is walking away from a love offer. Somebody wants stability, but six of six of swords. Is somebody heading out, man? They're heading out. It's air energy. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. <sighs> A bunch of piranha under that as well. Um, I would leave the piranha too. <laughs> Just saying with the spread right here. But uh, somebody's not interested in a love offer. You know, I mean, it's twin flame stuff. It could be sacred masculine right here that has had a love offer from another situation. Hmm. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Oh, 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 Leo, 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 Leo. Yeah, I got three cups right here, Leo. In this deck, it is the uh, Lady Godiva riding on the goat on the merry-go-round with the little bunny, the little bunny right there that's got eyes all up on Lady Godiva right there. Don't even see the goat. Just boinging along. Boing, boing, boing. Look at Lady Godiva. This is a merry-go-round. It's three of cups in this deck. There's our three. Okay. Somebody's walking away from some kind of third-party situation. Here we go. The sun. The sun came out. Kind of a strange card in this deck. Because you know it's the sun, but it's like spiking a bird. It's like spiking a bird right here. I mean, 
you know, let's just, let's just go right here. Let's just go right here. This is toxic. Somebody wants to let it go. Interesting spread. Here we go, Leo. I mean, it's love. Oh, look, but I got right here. Look at Knight of Pentacles. Some kind of entanglement here. Probably been going on for a long time with this individual, huh, Leo? See the little birdie right there, the Knight of Pentacles birdie. It's got some strings, so there's all kinds of entanglement here with this. Has been going on a long time. Vice versa. Either you're playing with a Leo or Leo's playing with you. But this is a love offer coming in in the midst of all of this. Tarot. Love. Somebody wants... And look what's underneath that. Seven swords. It's my little birdie with a basket full of keys that unlock a whole bunch of boxes. To help get entanglement done here, one would hope, but that's the liar cheater card. Got a spiky sun. It is Leo's reading. Got three of cups here. Is this you, Leo? Right? Love offer coming in at this particular point in time. Could be somebody that you've known for a while. Seven of seven of wands. Uh, you know, the hero's card, making a judgment call. Uh, the emperor right there, you know. This is about stability, at least. Somebody doesn't want to play here, period. It could be, uh, I'll just leave it go. Six of Swords, right? Somebody wants to move over to Paradise Island over there. Somebody wants to get out of what they feel is a whole bunch of piranhas around here. Wow. All right. Got a liar, got a cheater, got Leo entangled in something right here. Uh, the spiky sun on, 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 on and, the, and, and the goat merry-go-round. All right. Wow, Leo. There's a spiky moon right there. Deception, lies. Wow, this huge red flag. Huge red flag for Leo. Tower. I wouldn't play with this anymore either. This reads out of control. In a good way. Get in control right here. Somebody either who's cross-watching for Leo or Leo. But it says tower right now. It says, no, this is source. It's a major arcana. Source strikes the tower because it's not on a firm foundation right here. And like I said, I wouldn't do anything myself with anybody, especially if they've been flaky and they come in now and give you a love offer during the retrograde where there's eclipses and Venus kissing the sun and all kinds of crazy stuff going on right now till July 7. This says, run. Run! This don't just say, uh, hang around for a minute. This says, run, man. Here we go. What do we got? I want, I want something on that Ace of Cups right there, where the little, where the little birdie's coming out of the skull. Five of Wands came out on top of that. Fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. That's fighting and arguing, competition and love. Seven of Wands, Leo, what do we got? Ace of Wands. See, somebody wants a, a, a new beginning. Where's the cups? I don't see cups. Uh, somebody wants a new beginning, but all they want is an Ace of Wands. Boing! I'm serious. I'm reading love cards, right? Love. Whew. All they got to do is just wave the wand around. Hi, Leo, here's my wand. Male or female, or Leo, what's going on here? Judgment. Somebody's decided that they want their wish fulfillment. Wow. Wow, somebody wants nine cups here. Somebody wants an ace of wands here. 
I don't know, nine cups can talk about, you know, pride and ego, overindulgence in many areas of their uh, of a life. You know, I got pride all over this thing. Got the ace of wands sticking straight up right there. I'm looking for love, man. I got spiky moon, spiky sun, entanglement. The goat merry-go-round, the tower. Somebody wants their nine of cups, their wish fulfillment. Somebody's little wand isn't doing it for them. Emperor, major arcana. Why is it here? Sacred masculine on the spread. Drop the card. Star card came out. Aquarius. May mean something, may not. This is somebody that has a dream. They have a dream. They want their star. Leo. Aquarius. Opposite on the wheel. Yeah. Is this sacred masculine? Walking away from something? I do believe it is. Star's right here. It's a card of great hope and great faith. May not be manifesting right now, July 7th. Come on. Stability. Emperor, star. Somebody's offering wands. Somebody wants happiness and joy. Tower. Somebody wants to move in a new direction. Away from piranha. You know. That's my angelic being right there with the two cups in their hand. One pouring in the water, one pouring in the land. Many times this is about divines that are in separation at this particular point in time. What an interesting story. I am reading for twins anymore, if you're wondering. We need our twins. We do. So, the emperor has their eyes on the star. Whatever that means to you. Majors all over. I got Aquarius, which is Pisces, Cancer, Leo. That is the only majors that I have right now. Oh, there's Aries. Aries, Aquarius, Pisces, Cancer, Leo. Six swords. Yeah. Somebody's heading for. A king of love. This is Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Wow. There's been a love offer made here. Hmm. I mean, if it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be. The tower is here. The strength came out. Major Arcana, Leo. It is a season right now, right? We need to find out who's ours and who isn't ours right now. Are we going to be signing any papers at this particular point in time? Because I see that in here. I would read it all twice. Strength from the universe. There's a polarital difference right here between these two. I'm telling you right now. Is this resonating with you, Leo? Um, and somebody doesn't want to play with you? Love them as they go out the door. They're nervous. They don't know what to do. Maybe they'll be back. Maybe they won't. But it appears to me that they're going to row their boat in a different direction. I don't want to crush your heart. But that can be this kind of energy, right? It's right here, man. It's right here. Anyway, we'll let this unfold. But for me, the strength card, right? It's, hard. it's a lust card. So there's strong, you know, there's strong chemistry here. It's probably some kind of soulmate, whatever. Um, but they're moving in a new direction. It's king of love right over here. Anyway, um, but I'm what I want to get to right here because it's not a real flowery read, but nobody's getting real flowery reads right now, Leo. It's like eyes wide open, read in between the lines right now. If anybody's coming at your direction right now in the middle of this insane uh, retrograde period with two eclipses in it, I wouldn't play with them right now anyway. I'd let them go figure it out themselves. But that's me. I got a strength card right here. So here's strength from the universe for you right now. 
I do see a polarital difference with two right here. This is the lady in the white. This is somebody who works with the heart chakra, the throat chakra, third eye, crown chakra is open. The other one over here um, is somebody that works uh, uh, with the uh, lower chakras, right? You know, pop, fire, flea, right? Somebody's tuned in the source right here. But there is a polarital difference between these two. They couldn't stay in the same room. I mean, it's all vibration. Strength for Leo right now because Mike sees tower. Mike sees tower. Hmm. Oh, see, I got a princess of swords. Something's happening here. Is this Leo? Somebody's looking at a new cup. There's been, a, there's been an offer here, but somebody's looking at a different offer. Three swords. Is this you, Leo? I don't know. Something's going on here. I'm going to figure it out. Somebody walked away from a love offer. And somebody's tired of the broken heart. This is a common card coming out right now, Leo. There's air energy right here. Let's shake these out, Leo. You know I love you. Here we go. Let's get him out. Out, out, out. Out of Leo's heart. Out. Yeah, two of wands. Two of wands. No crossroads. It's got to be fire energy, right? Set your new intentions on what you want to manifest. It's a crossroads right now. And um, I would say if this is resonating with you, you need to focus on yourself right now. So this person, they're definitely not focusing on you. And it is what it is with love, right? Maybe they only come in and offered the wand. This person wants cups. Is that you, Leo? You want cups and they just come in offering you the wand because you're so passionate? Because that's probably all they're used to offering people. Just the wand. Leo wants the cups anyway. There's separation right here. There's a tower. It's by source. You know, love yourself first. There's definitely competition. I love you. Everybody's getting these reads right now. You know, and this can say right here, you know, with that, you know, it can say that, you know, let's focus on love that doesn't have a broken heart in it, Leo. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. This has probably been going on for a while with this individual. Give me a love card on this, yeah. So, love yourself first right now. Love yourself first. Yeah, King of Wands right there. Oh, Leo. 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 Yeah, Two of Wands, King of Wands, and Five of Cups. That's the River of Tears. I feel you, Leo. You know. I don't know. Yeah. All right. Um, you know, it ain't over with this person. But right now, they're moving away. I would move away too, right? I love you, Leo. Look, it says there's love out there for you. There's my two cups right there. And, and we're supposed to not focus on that. I know this is processing for my Leos right here. It looks like the wind's knocked out of the sail a little bit, you know. This is about, I don't know, not quitting, you know. It's I'm going to press through the wall right here. I'm going to go get my new world, but it's the retrograde right now. Let things unfold. So you'll see that you feel deeply for this person, and that's all good. It is. Love yourself first, though, right? We don't need somebody else to make us happy. We need to learn to make ourselves happy. There are two cups right there. That's the joy. That's the bliss. You're supposed to pick that up, go over the bridge, over trouble water, back up to the high vibration castle right up there, Leo. Give me a love card on this for Leo. Leo, I love you, Leo. You know I do. This is resonating with you. Let it unfold. Let it unfold. Let it unfold. Because it says that there is potential for new love for you. It's right there. But I don't know if it's this individual. I guess we'll know by July 7th, won't we? Leo, love, what do we got? Codependency came out. Got 
they want to go somewhere else, so that would be best for me. But you want to add all that energy. The upside down moon, the upside down sun, the seven, seven swords entanglement with all of this. This is like looking for new love right here that don't have heartache and heartbreak in it. But this is processing right now, right? Really wanted this to happen. I really had my intentions set on it. I don't really want to let go of it, Mike. You know, because the King of Wands, you know, they always get what they want. But there's a, there's a river of tears here, and it does have two cups, and it does say look for new love that doesn't have heartache and heartbreak in it. Okay, look for the star, right? Look for the star. Get yourself free. Get some stability, right? The emperor's right here. And this is, you know, this is straight for Leo if this person walked away from my from my Leos right here. And Six of the Swords is right there, you know. Um, it, it appears to me that they're heading for, I don't know, Mr. and Mrs. Half a Cup, right? That's probably what they're used to, right, Leo? D love yourself first, right? Look at right here. That Nine of Cups on top of Judgment, right? Let's put that Tenth Cup right there, Leo, right? And then there's our little you know, information gatherer. And let's just run with that, right? The little information gatherer, that's 10 cups without heartache and heartbreak. <laughs> All right? That, that's a gig, ain't it? I got codependency and the three of cups with the magical goat and the bunny. Calling in your soulmate. See, it's right here. I mean, you know, it's it's like if, if if that's your love bird, they will come back. It's that old classic stuff. It says for you to call in your soulmate. I got two cups right here, Leo. I know, I know, I know. But this person's only offering up the wand. We want some cups, right? Calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations. That's Michael right there. And let's, let's oh, see, Leo, and it's all about, let's go find a safe place for you to love. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Um, it is what it is. I love you, Leo. Uh, you know, all, all my reads have been like this right now. If they don't want to play with you, they don't want to play with you. You can't chase that kind of stuff down and make it happen. Mm-mm. Because these are all heartfelt things right here, right? It's love. I love you, Leo. You know that, right? Let's find a place where it is safe for us to love. Let's call in our soulmate right here because I got codependency on this, and that's the miracle round that probably going to continue to go round and round and round. You know, love yourself right here. Let's see what happens July 7th and beyond when, when summertime, when living's easy. Got the hair font right here. Too many crickets. This might even be a marriage. Taurus may mean something, may not. I do see some people back over here. Could that be our two cups is behind the five cups, Leo? I don't know. Uh, but Herophant has showed up here, and he is all about being streetwise and spiritual at the same time. He is about being the student and the teacher at the same time. Leo, he's definitely about all the wisdom that comes into your life because of these journeys right here. He is a major arcana. He is... A five. He is contrast. Contrast shows us what we don't want so that we can set our intentions and manifest what we do want. And that's what this read's all been about, Leo. About you. Loving you first. And if you got somebody with codependency issues that wants to ride on the, on the goat, the best thing you can do is let him go. Let him, for me. Why you want to keep ripping your heart out about this? It's right here. Seven billion people on our planet. Surely one of them. It's this nine cups. Oh, the ring just fell off. I take tarot real, man. Ace of cups on the nine of cups. You know, judgment call. Leo, I want, I want my wish fulfillment without heartache and heartbreak. And... Uh, you know, justice did come out first, and the and the hierophant. So this could be a a marriage, you know, coming to an end that's full of codependency uh, and, and the goat merry-go-round. Bottom of the deck, temperance.
Michael. Hmm. It says be patient. Right? There's, there is a soulmate here. This is temperance. There is a soulmate here. I don't know if it's this person. We'll see as time goes on, right? July 7th. I wouldn't say, hey, come come live in my world until then. But that's me. But I watch the stars and all that. So I got temperance. It could be about new love. I'm kind of surprised that new love hasn't. But a, a safe place for you to love and calling in your soulmate. Ace of Cups. Nine of Cups. And the devil came out. Which for me is about removing yourself from self-imposed bondage. It is what it is. I love you, Leo. Let me see what we got right here because this is just about Leo loving on himself. Oh, justice. Wow. Wow. I got to show you that right here. Justice. I have an emperor and an empress. Maybe they're the one. Maybe they're not. But it's definitely time for the sword to drop right now to release self-imposed bondage. I guess we can pick this story up if it's meant to be July 7th. Leo, something special. Look right here. I don't know if it's this. It says be patient. Going to bring in a safe place for you to love because you're calling in your soulmate, bottom of the deck, after justice. Some kind of divorce here probably. Two of cups. I'm, I'm working with you here, Leo. I'm trying to find you because it says that there's potential for it amazing relationship to come in but this needs to be cleared out from what i can see and it is i mean why would you want to chase that if you want to chase it don't let it go if it's not yours i'm just saying anyway got something amazing has the potential to come in here but uh there may be a divorce it's all over this man crazy reads anymore not for everybody do what's best for you if it is for you you definitely recognized it i love you namaste leo love and light Talk to you soon. Bye for now.